You know, I recently had a uh, homeless man knock on the parish doors at uh, like 10.30 at night in Flint, uh, which is a lot like Detroit. And I opened the door and, you know, we chatted for a little bit. And he was constantly looking at the ground. He didn't want to look at me in the eyes. And at one point during the conversation, um, he wanted food and I fed him and we're just chatting. And he said, I can't look at you in the eyes because you're better than me. But I invited him, I said, look at me. He said, no, I can't look at you. I said, look at me. He said, no, no, you're way up there. I'm down here, I'm a worm. You know, you look down on me. You know, are you better than me? Uh, you, you priests. I wasn't a priest. <laughs> um, and I said, look at me. I said, the only difference between you and me is that we have our own set of sins. Do you have any idea how much you are loved by the Father? And there is nothing you can do about that. I'm just as implicated as you are. And I am just as in desperate need as you are of his mercy. Look at me. Because we look at each other as fellow broken hearts. Fellow drunks. You know, needing help. From a father who constantly seeks us out. And he's seeking you out now, you know. Um, You, know, you may be a, a casualty of casual love, as that song goes. You may have been let down in your life. Your father may have walked out on you, which his dad did. And you may be wandering on the streets aimlessly. But the bottom line is, there's a person standing right here, overshadowing you right now, looking at you with his furious love. And um, my experience as I was sharing that with them was the Father's love pouring through my heart into this other guy's heart, you know. Um, that's the cool thing about being an instrument, you know, um, is seeing the Holy Spirit at work. You know, it's quite obvious I wasn't really doing anything except for watching the Holy Spirit at work. Um, and he just started to cry. He couldn't believe that someone would say that to him. He couldn't believe that the Father would love him that much. He couldn't believe that Jesus freely invites him without having to earn it, without having to perform for the Father, without having to make a show of it, without having to fake it, without having to, you know, in his experience when he went to church as a little boy, um, kind of do it because if he didn't, he would be punished, you know, as a mere motivation for going to church. Um, so we prayed together and he was allowing Christ to just pour into his heart and he gave him his life. Uh, so if I were to say anything to anybody, wanted to hear anything, you know, there's so many voices in the world, there's only one voice of truth and the truth says that you are precious. The Father loves you and he invites you to a life far surpasses any kind of relationship you could possibly have here on earth with any other human. And that it's free. It just costs you your life. Because <laughs> it cost him his life. So be bold. Don't be afraid. Give him your life. And you'll experience a joy that it's worth dying for. <laughs>